What is up everyone? Coach Lucas here. Hope you guys are doing well. Today I want to talk to you about how to take your game to the top mentally and stay there. I found that some players don't know how to take their game to the top. Other players know how to get to the top of their game mentally, but don't know how to stay there. So I want to share with you how to do both things. So the first thing that's important to understand is that if your player mentally wants to put themselves at the top of their performance, they need a long-term goal. They need a purpose. They need to have a vision of what they want to accomplish long term. And I see so many players and parents make the mistake of not being excited or bullish or or brave enough to want something big. They often cut themselves, cut their goals short in the name of being practical or realistic or whatever. And the truth is, if you want to play at your best, you have to be excited about accomplishing something big. You have to let that ambition, that goal, that vision to be part of your life, to be part of your daily actions. And so it's not about whether or not you're going to actually accomplish that thing, but more so about believing and having faith in that fact that you will accomplish it and bringing that belief into your daily actions. It's a big difference. It's a big difference. It's actually quite paradoxical. And if you look at psychology, if you look at um, what allows top performers to play at their best, is that first and foremost, they they reach for the highest possible good. They, 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 they brainstorm and they think about what is it that is the highest possible good that I can perceive or conceive, and then they vow to pursue that particular thing. And it's that pursuit of that highest possible good that allows players and people in general to make the best possible decisions each day of their life. And so this is something that I'm really excited about because it's it's so critical for players to have this. And if you find that your player doesn't have this and you experiment with this and you test this out just for 30 days or 60 days and you commit to this, you're going to find your players growing and developing at a far faster pace than if they didn't have this long-term goal or this vision or this mission or this purpose that is part of their decisions, part of their everyday life. So first and foremost is the vision, the long-term goal, the the this this purposeful pursuit of achieving the highest possible good. So that's number one. Number two, once you have this, your player needs to have the belief that this is possible, even if it's far fetched, even if it's if it's against all odds, even if it's uh, four, five, six, seven, ten years down the line. They need to have faith. They need to have the belief that they can accomplish this. And if they don't, they re- you and them really need to spend some time studying great athletes and studying people in our history who have accomplished great things. Because if you look at that in our history, and if you look at the great people and the great athletes in our history, they all have had this unwavering belief in their ability to accomplish great things. And... Part of that process is believing in that despite it being far-fetched and despite having these doubters, these people around, these people that that are doubting them and, um, and that don't support them. So stretching and believing and having this belief is critical. Okay. Number three is having self awareness, having the understand of where am I at currently? Okay, so I have this high po- highest possible good. Now I have to have the understanding of where am I at currently? What are my strengths 
and weaknesses right here, right now in the present moment, that will give us the understanding of what we need to work on right here and right now. And if you have those two things, you have an end point, you have a starting point, and with that, you can now start navigating down your path, down your journey the right way. You could start working on the things that you need to work on to inch closer and closer and closer and closer to that ultimate goal. So that that's critical. And I find that a lot of players and people in general that don't have this self-awareness in the name of not wanting to confront their flaws, not wanting to confront their weak points. And what I have found in studying some of the greatest athletes and professional players is that they become friends with their flaws. They identify their weak links and they pursue those weak links, weak links until those weaknesses become strengths. And that is how you can improve your game one step at a time. By identifying your strengths and weaknesses, identifying the most, the, the, the critical point, the weakest link, and improving the weakest, the weakest link one step at a time. Once you have those two things, once you have ultimate goal, once you have the belief to achieve those goals, and you have the awareness of what you need to work on, the next part of that is taking care of your physical. Uh, your your body, taking care of your physical body, and put treating yourself as as a top athlete, and that's that's foundational. You need to be taking care. Players need to be taking care of their health. They need to be taking care of their of their body, their nutrition, their sleep, their exercise, their mobility, all the things that are going to influence how they perform. And so this is critical. I see so many players that play the game, that really enjoy the game, that are really good at the game, but are not treating themselves as athletes. And this is fundamental in in making sure that your player is developing and getting to the highest possible place they can mentally. And then finally, step five is being prepared, being prepared for the adversities, the challenges, the obstacles that are co- going to come in your way, okay? And so what I'm describing here, these steps, these points, is we're building this engine. We're building this engine that's going to allow your player to grow and develop and overcome anything that's going to come their way. And so if you have these five things, highest possible good, belief in achieving that good, self-awareness of strengths and weaknesses, taking care of your body and treating yourself as an athlete, and being prepared for any flaws, obstacles that will come your way, if you have those five things, you're unstoppable. You're unstoppable. There's nothing that can prevent you from accomplishing your ultimate goal. And from this point on, it's a matter of putting in the work and it's a matter of time. So if your player can have these five things, not only will they be able to get to the top, but they'd be able to stay at the top. If your player does these five things correctly, they're going to start focusing on the details that matter. Okay. They're going to start focusing on the things that matter most that are going to help them mentally get to the top of their game and stay at the top of their game. And what happens is the most critical part of this, you know, this process of, of accomplishing these five things, this can take two months. It could take six months. It could take a whole year for a player to properly align these things in the right way so that mentally they're performing at their best. Once they get there, what I have found is players who are at a great state mentally, they start forgetting about the details. They start forgetting about the small steps and the stepping stones that have gotten them to this high state of mind, this high level of performance. And so the pitfall here for players that are able to get to this peak is that once they get to this peak, they start thinking to themselves, now that I'm good, now that I'm performing really, really well, now that I'm performing consistently, I no longer have to do these mundane things, these these trivial things that were once really important for me. And so they start letting go of these little details, these little habits, these little routines that have gotten them to this point, and all of a sudden their game goes south. And this happens for everyone, not just athletes. This happens for me. This happens for 
p general population, this happens for people all the time. When they get to this peak, they forget about the details that have gotten them here. And once they let go of those details, boom, their game starts going like this. So if you want to get your game to the top, you've got to focus on these five things. And if you want to stay at the top, you have to be relentless at remembering the details that have gotten gotten you to this point and continuing to execute and find ways to enhance and sharpen those details to keep your game here. So I hope you found value, value in this. If you have any questions about this, if your player has any questions about this, reach out to me and me and my team will be happy to help. That's it for today. Take care. Talk soon.